here's the process I want you to follow. It has several steps. The first is to take the name of your algorithm and head on to Google to do some research. Get a general understanding of what the algorithm does. If you can explain the algorithm to a friend, for example, then you probably understand it well enough that you're ready to move on to the next step. Then what I suggest you do is find the sklearn documentation for this algorithm, exactly the way we've been doing all throughout this course. Remember that the sklearn documentation also usually has examples. This will be a huge help for you in the next step, step number three, which is to deploy the algorithm. Get your hands dirty, try to get it running at least. That's of course the first thing that you need before you can go on to step number four, which is using it to make some predictions about the test set. And then of course you use those predictions to evaluate it. What's the accuracy on the test set? I've given you a set of starter code that has all the training and testing data ready to go. There's also a function in there that allows you to plot it. So you can visualize the decision boundary, which is always something that's really nice to do. By the time you've completed this process, you will be a real machine learning expert in the sense that maybe you don't know everything yet, but very few machine learning experts would say they know everything. The thing that separates the good ones from the great ones is very often that they're able to go out and learn something new. And this is your chance to do that.